Hey guys, welcome to MCA Jimbo's World, um, day one. Today I'm at, at um, Atlantis Marine Park. Um, just This was a place I used to go to as a kid um, and have a lot of fun, fun childhood memories. This park operated from I think 1980 to 1990. Actually, yeah, about, yeah, about, about that time. Um, it was only open for about 10 years um, and it had a really sad um, sad life really um, it was the brainchild of Alan Bond the def defunct billionaire, Australian billionaire he had the great idea of building a Disneyland style park in Western Australia at the time uh, due to um, cost blowouts for, of him trying to bid for the America's Cup and various other business things um, that he had going at the time um, the park kind of suffered by not being finished in I think 1987 um, in 1987 the parks trainers who were internationally renowned animal trainers um, so, uh, sorry, not 1987, in about 1988 the, inter uh, the trainers for the park who were actually world renowned tra animal trainers um, mysteriously disappeared uh, with a huge, huge sum of money um, that uh, meant that from 1988 to about 1989 the park was basically leaking a lot of money, you know um, losing a lot, lot of money. Um, also, there was another problem. Uh, there was a massive, 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 massive downturn in West Australian tourism um, due to the 1987 uh, global financial crisis, um, which meant that there was not a lot of people coming to Australia, um, especially to Western Australia. Um, that was another um, problem with the park because the park relied on tourism. Um, you know, it was a, a major, major tourist attraction for Perth. Um, and it, it fin the final nail was the, t the park's owner at the time, the Tokyo Corporation, which is the Japanese, actually a Japanese company, um, decided to close the park because of. Um, the money that was required um, to upgrade it, upgrade the tanks, as the West Australian government at the time decided to say, "Hey, we're um, changing the Animal um, Welfare Act to say that you need to have bigger tanks for the dolphins and the seals, which would have cost them in excess of um, half a million dollars per tank to replace." Uh, to replace. Um, and Jap the Japanese company at the time said uh, 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 no way are we going to spend any money in the park now that was an absolutely foolish foolish um, uh, in my book a very foolish decision to be made because now in Western Australia we've got uh, one of Australia's biggest ever mining booms um, um, ever recorded by man and um, by mankind and I think that's a real shame um, that they didn't have any forward vision because if this park was open now and was maintained and had a few more new attractions like roller coasters and all these stuff like SeaWorld has because that was what Atlantis was like it was a personal version of SeaWorld um, and that's uh, you know um, a very sad thing the thing that I'd like to also mention is there's a Facebook group down here in the Barbalotti that I want you guys to go and have a look at and join if you re really want to see something change with this park. Um, it's um, www.facebook.com slash um, we want something done with the ruins of Atlantis Marine Park. Um, this is going to be a hot topic most probably in the next couple of months, years weeks whatever um, as you can see I'm most probably you'll see my name 
um, up there as being a um, co-administrator with Tennille Smith. We want to see this park hopefully um, brought back to either be a water theme park minus animals because we're not into animal cruelty you know we didn't know back in the early 80s when we were kids you know that animal cruelty um, was a cruel thing for animals basically um, we just thought you know that the, the dolphins were dancing for King Neptune <laughs> um, <laughs> well that's what I thought at the time um, I suppose as kids were a little bit naive towards those kind of things but you know it's an important thing to do, you know, it's an important thing to um, think, um, to see and hopefully return this park to a swarm of glory or as an adventure playground, you know. But one thing that we don't want to see is another um, paintball park because that's actually um, not what this group's all about, really. Um, paintballing parks seem to be run down places where people go around and find, find paint, fire paintballs. Even though that is fun, we're trying to actually uh, breathe some life into the park. Um. Okay guys, as I promised, I'm actually going to about to start the car and actually take you through a tour where the car park is. And um, We're just at the two rocks, out front of the Two Rocks IGA that still somehow survived, but what's going to show you um, may upset um, you to see how dilapidated it is. This is just the Two Rocks car park, um, shopping centre. Let's try and find the exit. Is it? This is just the shopping centre still. if there's anything on the lens. There we go. I'm sorry that my windscreen's a little bit dirty. Um, Let's go clean this up guys. Go move the camera for a sec. As you can see just over there is King Neptune. Okay now that is a lot better. Haha, <laughs> cleaned it. The wonders of tissues. Okay, off we go. As you can see, it's kind of like what you would see is a normal kind of thing. But as you come down the road here, you see broken signs. No one's been here for a while. I'll just try to slow down. There's King Neptune. Just here. Um, two rocks and where the buses, the coaches and the transport or what was MTT back then used to come into is to this car park here um, and this car park was quite a 
busy car park, if you remember, um, filled with people. That I will pull, pull up and try and take some video of various things around here, but it looks like there's some construction going on, demolition works, so we can't really stop. So, the old pub has gone. That kind of thing. So, it looks like the pub is about to be demolished, which is an interesting um, aspect. Okay guys, I'm just on the ocean side of Atlantis Marine Park, or well, well, the ruins of Atlantis Marine Park, showing what's here now. Formerly, um, as you would remember, this was more or less the other side, more or less the entrance where the, um, from the, you know, the, from the ocean side, um, there was an entrance here as well, which would go through, there was the, where the, points are, was like, um, where the gate post was, you know, it's an, another, um, another entrance and there was all the different tanks and pools and then the back, across the park, across around here, is King Neptune and I'm just trying to try if I, if I can, sorry about the job, just send us to see if I can get a view. Him now, I don't know if it's come out, but he, he, must, he looks pretty graffitied from what I can see here. And um, across here was all the adventure uh, slides and fun things, um, and of course, they're all now gone and just bushland, it's all like grown in the park. Still, as you'll see in the photos, I've got. There's still the um, the statues. Um. Okay, guys, as you can see um, on my drive around, um, you can see that the tavern is being demolished as we speak. Um, that's not really a major part of the park, but what we should do is actually fight the um, the council in some way, and maybe get in contact with the developers, see if we can safeguard the statues that are actually in front of the um, the demolition site um, as they were a part of the park in fact the tavern was also part of the park but um, what we need to I feel we need to do is contact the, get in contact with the Feeney group and work with them um, say that we're a, a group of 4,000 um, subscribers of uh, a Facebook channel uh, called um, called um, we want something done with the ruins of Atlantis Marine Park um, and hopefully they'll see the light as well if there's 4,000 people behind it they obviously th see that there's something in the value to do something to maintain the park or whether whether that's to t change their plans and you know make a water theme park or to make an adventure playground or just put a memorial and keep King, King Neptune these are all options that are open to them